Hi there! Joe Biden's wives and immediate family. Nelia Hunter Biden, born in New York's Finger Lakes region on 28 July 1942, was the first wife of Joe Biden. Nelia went to boarding school in Pennsylvania at Penn Hall, where she graduated from in 1960 and participated in such extracurricular activities as hockey and swimming. She was also a member of the student council and French club. They met while Nelia was a student at Syracuse University and Joe was at the University of Delaware. It was during a spring break in Nassau, Bahamas, as students from different colleges that they met in 1963. Joe transferred to Syracuse from the University of Delaware they later graduated from Syracuse University, where she too studied law. Nelia's parents owned a restaurant in New York. Initially, Nelia's parents had reservations about their daughter getting married to a Roman Catholic and a Democrat, as Nelia's parents were Republicans and Presbyterians. They got married in a Catholic church in Skinny Atelis, New York on 27 August 1966. At this time, Joe had gained admission to Syracuse Law School and was in fact a student when they got married, while Nelia had gained her master's degree in English and started teaching at Syracuse City. They later moved to Wilmington, Delaware, where Joe Biden was a lawyer and member of the Newcastle County Council. Nelia was instrumental to the successful election campaign of Joe to unseat the incumbent senator, Joe Box, representing Delaware. The news journal described Nelia as the brains behind Joe's campaign. She called her husband Joey, just like her mother-in-law. Joe and Nelia had three children, the eldest being Joseph Robinette III, also known as Bo, followed by Robert Hunter and Naomi Christina, also known as Amy, respectively. Not long after Joe became the senator-elect for Delaware, the disaster struck. On 18 December 1972, Nelia's life was cut short through a ghastly road traffic accident that took her life as well as that of their only daughter, Naomi, while the old family, except Joe, was out on Christmas shopping. Their car was hit by a tractor trailer. Police reported that Nelia accidentally drove into the path of the tractor trailer as she did not see it approaching. Nelia was 30, Burr almost 4, Hunter 3, and Naomi had just celebrated her first birthday a month before. They had their children in quick succession as if they saw the disaster coming. Joe later said that after having the message relayed to him by Valerie, that's the sister, who received the phone call informing them of the accident from their brother Jim, in commas, my whole life was altered forever. Joe Biden, who then contemplated resigning from the Senate, was eventually sworn in as senator on 3 January 1973 at a Wilmington hospital bedside of his sons. On election day in November 2020, Joe and Jill started the journey with a visit to his church, St. Joseph, on the Brandwine for a short service, after which they visited the graves of Bill, Nelia, and Naomi, all in the church cemetery. Dr. Jill Biden describes Nelia as having easy natural beauty with a warm, genuine smile in her book, Where the Light Enters. Dr. Jill Tracy Jacobs Biden, Nee Jacobs, an English professor and formerly Mrs. Stevenson, is the current wife of Joe Biden. She was born in Hamilton, New Jersey on 3 June 1951. She and her four younger sisters, Jan, Bonnie, Kelly and Kim, spent their formative years in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Her mother was Bonnie Jean Jacobs, Nee Godfrey. She was a homemaker and of English and Scottish descent. Her father, Donald Carl Jacobs, was born in 1927, worked in the bank and in the US Navy during the Second World War. 
Joe's family name was originally Jacopa. While her parents see themselves as agnostic realists and did not attend church, Jill often attended Sunday services with her grandmother. She was later confirmed at nearby Abington Presbyterian Church at age 16. She attended Upper Moland High School and graduated in 1969. Jill moved to Delaware in 1970 after getting married to her first husband, Bill Stevenson, who founded the popular Stone Balloon Nightclub in New York, near the University of Delaware. They first met during a semester at Brandywine College. She has a bachelor's degree in English from the Department of Arts and Sciences of the University of Delaware and a master's degree in English from Villanova University in 1987. In January 2007, at the age of 55, Dr. Jill Biden went back to the University of Delaware for a doctorate degree. She completed her PhD and was awarded Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. From early 1990s to um, 2008, Jill taught at Delaware Technical and Community College. It is claimed that she met Joe on a blind date in March 1975. Jill claimed Joe first spotted her in a local publication and wanted to meet her. But a counterclaim as to how she met Joe, as narrated by Jill's ex husband Bill Stevenson, alleges that Joe and Jill were already having an affair while Jill was married to him. A civil divorce was granted in May 1975 between her and former husband, but her wish to own half of the stone balloon was declined. It was claimed that Jill was at hand to assist with taking care of Joseph and Hunter, Joe's two sons, after the death of their mother, and that the sons were partly the reasons why Joe eventually married Jill. Joseph and Hunter referred to her as mom. Joe and Jill got married on 17 June 1977 at the chapel at the United Nations in New York City about four and a half years after the death of Nelia and Naomi. It was solemnized by a Catholic priest. The only child they have together is Ashley, born 8 June 1981. To be able to raise the three children, Jill stopped working for about two years. Jill started working at the age of 15 as she had always wanted to be independent. She also had an attempt at modeling. From 2009 to 2017, Jill was second lady of the United States. She held on to this paying job while second lady, thereby making her the first second lady to do this while her husband was vice president. Jill enjoys taking part in marathon and does about 25 miles a week. After Joe's time as vice president ended, Jill and Joe bought a $2.7 million house in Rio Both Beach, Delaware. They were able to afford this through publishing contracts they signed. In fact, their income jumped to $15 million in 2019. Jill continued teaching while earning a salary of about $100,000. Dr. Jill Biden was fully part of the selection process that made Senator Kamala Harris the vice presidential candidate. Jill has about six honorary degrees. Let's talk about Joe's children. Joe Biden had four children from two marriages, two boys and two girls. Joe named his first child and son, Joseph Robinette Biden III, that is, after himself. Joe's father also bore this name. Joseph Robinette Biden III was popularly called Beau. He was born 3 February 1969 in Wilmington, Delaware. A couple of months before his first birthday, Beau suffered multiple broken bones during the ghastly car crash that took the lives of his mother and sister. He stayed in hospital for many months. Bo, like his father, attended Archmere Academy, 
then the University of Pennsylvania in 1991, and Syracuse University College of Law. After successfully completing law school, Bill worked as a clerk for George Stephen McAuliffe of the United States District Court of New Hampshire, and later at the Department of Justice in Philadelphia, as counsel to the Office of Policy Development, and later in the U.S. Attorney's Office as a federal prosecutor. Bo got married to Helly Olivier in 2002, with the marriage blessed with two children, Natalie and Robert Hunter Biden II, named after his uncle. In 2003, Bo joined the Army National Guard as a major in the George Advocate General's Corps and was sent to Iraq late 2008. Like father, like son, Bo got into politics starting off with becoming the 44th Attorney General of Delaware from 2007 until 2015. He won narrowly by approximately 5 percentage points. Remember he was sent to Iraq in 2008 from where he continued as Attorney General. He won re-election as Attorney General in 2010. Bow played major political roles in his father's political journey. In 2008, after the nomination of the father as a running mate for Barack Obama, Bow's speech left many people emotional and weeping as he recounted his mother and sister's death, as well as his father's commitment to play both the roles of a father and mother for him and his brother. He was transferred to and from numerous hospitals and healthcare centers until August of 2013 when he was admitted to the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston and diagnosed with brain cancer. He had a lesion removed and a bout of radiation and chemotherapy ensued. The cancer was declared stable. He later declared his intention to run for governor of Delaware. Bo was readmitted to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland in May 2015 due to a recurrence of the brain cancer. The cruel hands of death changed Bo's plan of running for governor of Delaware in 2016. He died 10 days later in hospital on 30 May 2015, age 46. Bo's funeral took place at St. Anthony of Padua Roman Catholic Church in Wilmington, Delaware on 6 June 2015 and is buried at St. Joseph's on the Brandywine in Greenville, Delaware, where his mother and sister are also buried. His father still speaks highly of him with great affection. He even said Bo should be the one who should be running for president. Robert Hunter Biden was born in Wilmington, Delaware, on 4 February 1970. Just like his late brother Bo, Hunter had serious injuries from the accident that killed his mother and sister in 1972 and stayed in hospital for months. He, like his father and brother, attended Archmere Academy in Claremont, Delaware, and later graduated from Georgetown University in 1992 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History. Hunter, like both his father and big brother again, ventured into law. He transferred from Georgetown University Law Center to Yale Law School, where he graduated in 1996. After his graduation, he worked as a volunteer at a church in Portland, Oregon, where he met Kathleen Bull, who became his first wife. They got married in 1993. Hunter has three children with Kathleen. Naomi, named after his late sister. Finnegan, named after Joe's mother, Jane Finnegan. And Macy. Kathleen and Hunter separated in 2015 and divorced in 2017. Hunter started dating his brother's widow, Halle Biden, not long after Bo died and soon after separating from Kathleen. It went on for about three years between 2016 and 2019. Joe Biden confirmed this to the public through the media. As soon as they broke up, Hunter married Melissa Cohen, 
a South African filmmaker, a couple of months later in May 2019. They have a son born March 2020. This is Hunter's fifth child. Hunter accepted a position at the financial institution MBN in America, a major financier of his father's political campaigns. He rose to the rank of executive vice president by 1998. He also worked at the Department of Commerce, focusing on e-commerce policy from 1998 to 2001. In 2001, he co-founded the lobbying firm Aldecar, Biden and Bel Air, while he and his uncle James Biden acquired the international hedge fund Paradigm Global Advisors in 2006. He served there as CEO for five years. In the same year, 2006, President George Bush appointed Hunter to the board of directors of Amtrak. He left in 2009 when his father became vice president. Hunter, who is the founder of Eudora Global, a venture capital firm, also works as an attorney for a law firm in New York. He served on the board of the World Food Program USA between 2011 and 2015. During the 2020 presidential campaign, there were allegations of malpractices about his overseas business dealings. It was a smear campaign by the Trump campaign team against Hunter for his membership of the board of the Ukrainian holdings company, Borisma, his activities in BHR Partners, Ye Jiamin, and CEFC Energy, all in China, alleging that Joe's engagement in nepotism got Hunter the positions. The allegations were unfounded. Hunter has had personal life challenges, including battling drug abuse and alcohol for many years. His career in the US Navy was brought to an abrupt end after just one month when he tested positive for cocaine in 2013. Naomi Christina Biden, nicknamed Emmy, born on 8th November 1971 in Wilmington, Delaware, was merely 13 months old when she died along with her mother, Nelia, in the ill-fated traffic accident of 18 December 1972. May our soul rest in perfect peace. Ashley Blazer Biden was born on 8th June 1981 in Wilmington, Delaware. She is the youngest and the only child from Joe and Jill's marriage, that is, Joe's second marriage as well as Jill's. Jill did not have any child in her first marriage. Unlike his father and half-brothers, Ashley went to Wilmington Friends School. While there, she developed her interest as an activist. She later attended the Tulane University in New Orleans to study cultural anthropology and proceeded to the University of Pennsylvania for a master's degree in social work. She graduated in 2010. Ashley was an associate director from 2012 before becoming the executive director of the Delaware Center for Justice, a nonprofit advocacy group. Before then, she was a social worker for the State Department of Services for Children, Youth, and Their Families. In 2012, Ashley got married to Dr. Howard Crane, a plastic surgeon at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital. Howard was introduced to her by her late brother, Bo. She is devoted to a charitable and ethical clothing line, Livelihood, which she uses to promote the fight against income and racial inequality. Let's talk about Joe Biden's brothers and sister. Joe Biden is the eldest of four children of ardent Catholic parents. That is, Joe has three siblings, a sister, Valerie Biden Owens, and two brothers, James Brian Biden and Francis William Biden. Joe is directly followed by his younger sister, Valerie Biden Owens by birth, then Francis William Biden and James Brian Biden respectively. Valerie was born on 5 November 1945. She attended Yosuline Academy in 1963 and later the University of Delaware, just like her brother. 
She was on the Dean's List at university and graduated in 1967. Valerie has an honorary doctorate of law from the University of Delaware. Valerie took up teaching before diverting to politics. Valerie has always supported, advised, and played major roles in her brother's political journey and private life. Her roles include being a campaign manager on several occasions, if not on all. She played her usual major roles in Joe's 1972's bid for senator, as well as his subsequent six re-elections, all of which he won, thereby making him one of the longest serving senators in the U.S. The same roles she played in his brother's shots at presidency in 1988, 2008, and 2020. Valerie can be described as a political strategist, educator, motivational speaker, and campaign manager. She served under President Obama as advisor to the 71st General Assembly of the United Nations. She was executive vice president of a media consultant firm and sits on the service organization Ministry of Caring Board of Directors. Valerie was made a resident fellow at the Harvard Institute of Politics in 2014, while she has also featured on TED Talk. She is vice chairman at the University of Delaware's Biden Institute and also the Biden Foundation. Valerie and her first husband, Bruce Sanders, moved into Joe Biden's house to support him and his two sons following the sudden death of Nelia and Naomi in December 1972. They both helped with the kids so that Joe could concentrate on his senatorial work. Valerie got married to Anthony John T. Owen since 1975 after her divorce from her first husband. They have three children, Calf Owens, who is an attorney like his father, and two daughters, Missy Owens and Casey Owens Costello. Valerie's daughter, Missy Owens, also works in politics. Valerie Biden Owens, being Joe's only and younger sister, is very close to Joe. Joe refers to her as his closest confidant and best friend. In his memoir, promises to keep, he states that Valerie has been my best friend my entire life. James Brown Biden is popularly called Jim. He was born on 16 May 1949 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He is married to Sarah and have two sons, Nicholas Biden and James Biden Jr. and a daughter, Caroline Biden. Jim is known to have supported Joe's political ambitions while tapping into Joe's political network and fame to his advantage. Jim now in his 70s has been in many occupations in his life, including nightclub owner, insurance broker, political consultant, fundraiser, startup investor, and construction company executive. One thing you cannot take away from him is his bond with his big brother Joe, a Democratic Party stalwart, properly placed to lobby and make things happen. Jim has always been supportive of his big brother on all issues, be they political or personal. He was the main fundraiser for Joe's senatorial ambition in 1972. During Joe's hospitalization for brain surgery, Jim was busy hunting for the best neurosurgeons all over the world. He's always credited with helping Joe launch his political career. Francis William Biden, popularly known as Frank, was born in Wilmington, Delaware on 25 November 1953, the last of four children. Joe was 11 years old when Frank was born, while Valerie and James were eight and three and a half years older than Frank, respectively. Frank finished from Quaker School in 1972, where he played basketball for Wilmington Friends School and walked into his first job of helping his brother's campaign. He attended San Francisco State University, California. He is a real estate developer and has two daughters. In an article, Frank is described as, and I quote, Joe's brother with place in his inner circle and resume which raises questions. It also states that with a gregarious manner, 
a ready and familiar smile and the telltale hint of a childhood's daughter, nobody will ever be in doubt who Frank Biden's brother is, unquote. In 1985, Frank got married to Janine Jacke, a Delaware-based local newspaper journalist, and have a daughter, Alana, with her, born in 1989. Frank now lives with his partner, Mindy Word, an American Airlines flight attendant and healthcare worker at a house owned by her parents. Frank's education after high school is yet to be untangled. In a memoir by Dr. Jill Biden, Joe's wife, she claims that Frank was a student at the University of Delaware when he arranged how she met Joe in 1974. Other sources even claim that he attended Connor University and Pepperdine Law School in Malibu, California. Dailymail.com stated that, and I quote, none of the schools will confirm Frank's attendance, unquote. Janine is currently an associate dean at Columbia Journalism School in New York, while Alana, a Harvard graduate, is a productions executive in a popular broadcasting organization in Los Angeles. Frank is said to have another daughter, Megan, a nurse practitioner in Virginia, whose name did not appear in his late mother's obituary as one of her grandchildren. Between 1993 and 1997, during Bill Clinton's presidency, Frank got a $78,000 a year political appointment as director at the government printing office, now the government publishing office. At some point in his life, Frank contended with such personal issues as drug abuse and court summons for a road traffic accident involving the death of a man in which it was alleged he drove under influence and without insurance. This was about 1999. During a Washington Post interview in 2011, Frank admitted that the name Biden helped open doors. Some press releases from a place where he walked even referred to him as brother of Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden has seven grandchildren as at 2020, all from his two sons, with five from Hunter and two from Bo. Naomi Biden is the oldest daughter of Joe's son, Hunter, with wife, Kathleen. She is Joe's oldest grandchild and probably the most outspoken and conspicuous. She was born in 1993. She is reportedly named after her aunt, that is Joe's daughter, Naomi, who, as earlier stated, was tragically killed when she was just 13 months old. Naomi is very proud of her grandfather, Joe, who she, like the other grandchildren, refer to as Pop. Fenegan Biden is Naomi's younger sister from the same mother, Kathleen, and was born in 2000. Fenegan was named after Joe Biden's mother, Catherine Gina Jane Fenegan Biden. Unlike her big sister Naomi, Fenegan keeps a low profile and she was a senior at the University of Pennsylvania during the presidential elections of 2020. Fenegan campaigned for her grandfather as she appeared in one or two videos with some of her cousins. It should not surprise you to know that Fenegan is also very active in school politics. Maisie Biden is the third and youngest daughter of Hunter and Kathleen. She was born in 2001. She is reportedly great friends with Barack and Michelle Obama's daughter, Sasha. They went to the same school where they played basketball together. Macy and some of the other granddaughters were said to be part of those who pressured Joe Biden to run for president in 2020. Natalie Biden is the eldest child of Joe's late son, Bo, with Harley Biden. Natalie was born on 4 August 2004. 
Robert Biden II is Natalie's younger brother and Joe's fifth grandchild. He was born in 2006. Hunter has a child with a woman in Arkansas named London Alexis Roberts, 28, an ex-stripper in August 2018. The paternity of that child was subjected to a court case which eventually established that Hunter indeed is the father with the help of a DNA test. It can also be confirmed that Hunter has a new baby boy with his new wife, Melissa Cohen, whom he married within one week after they met. The baby was born on 28 March 2020. Joe Biden's nieces are Valerie James Owens, Catherine Eugenia Owens, Caroline Nicole Biden, and Alana Jaque Biden, while his nephews are Kof Owens, Nicholas Coleman Biden, and James Brown Biden Jr. Joe and family have two dogs, Champ and Major, both German Shepherds. They have had at least three other dogs, mainly German Shepherds, and a Great Dane named Governor. We at LATV, on behalf of our viewers and ourselves, wish the Bidens the best in the White House and beyond. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share to keep getting all the latest and authentic news from LATV Productions. Until next time, keep keeping safe. Humbly, Prince Larry Adegu. Cabiesi.